To create the plant face portrait in Photoshop, we are going to use this image. If you want to follow along with me, the download link of all the resources used in this tutorial is given in the description. First we will change the size of this image into a square. So take the crop tool. In the header set the ratio 1 by 1 square. Drag the image and press enter. Next we will enhance the quality of the image. Zoom in to see the effect more clearly. Select the background layer and press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Now go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Set the radius 4 pixel, hit OK and change its blend mode to Overlay. This effect will sharp the image quality, you can see the difference here. Next while holding Ctrl, select the background layer and press Ctrl or Command E to merge the layers. Zoom out the image and take the move tool. Now we are going to remove the background of this image. Take the object selection tool and in the header click on select subject. It will automatically create a selection of the girl. Now press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the area that is selected on a new layer. Now we don't need the background so delete it. For the background add the adjustment layer of gradient. Click on gradient to edit. I have already created a custom gradient for it. If you want to download the exact gradient, the link is given in the description. Hit OK twice. Drag the adjustment layer below the image. The gradient is too harsh according to the background so we are going to light it. So add an adjustment layer of solid color. Choose the color white. Hit OK. Set its opacity 50%. It will make our gradient lighter. Now we will extract the face part. Take the pen tool folder selection, zoom in, in the header select the shape and for the fill change it to any color you want, we will later change it. Press tab for full screen mode, it will hide our layer panel also the toolbar so that we can get more room to create the selection. Your selection should be in a way that it looks like a mask. So try to avoid any corners, make it more a curvy look than an edgy look. I'm doing it fast but you can take your time for this process. Double click on layer and rename this layer as hollow. While holding Ctrl or Command, click on layer window to make a selection. Hide it for now. Select the layer 1, press Ctrl or Command X, then press Ctrl or Command Shift V. We just cut out the selection part and paste it onto a new layer. Rename this layer as face extended. Take the move tool and move the face part to the right top. And hide the hollow layer. Now we are going to work on this layer to make it more realistic. Double click on layer window to change its color. Pick a darker color from the skin tone. Hit OK. Rename the layer 1 as body. Press Ctrl Command J to duplicate the layer. Right click, open the blending options. Click on bevel and emboss. It will add a thickness around the face. Well, the depth will be 500%. Size will be 10. Make sure to change the shadow mode color to darker skin tone and opacity will be 50%. Let me tell you these values can be changed according to the size of the image. But these value right now will work for us. Hit OK. To add more depth select the hollow layer. Open the blending options. Tick on inner shadow. Select it. Set the opacity 80%. Angle will be 30. Distance 50 pixel, chalk 0 pixel and size will be 250 pixel. Hit OK. You can see it's already looking quite realistic. Now we will work on the face extended edge part. Zoom in. Open the blending option. Tick on bevel and emboss. Depth will be 500%, size will be 10 pixel. Rest of the value will be the same just like before. Hit OK. I think we actually missed one thing. The bevel and emboss effect is applied on all the parts of the body. But we only want it on the face part. So let's fix it. Expand the effect. Right click on effect and select create layers. It will create two new layers for bevel and emboss. And these two layers are automatically masked with our main image. By hiding and unhiding we can see its effect. 
Select any layer from them and add a layer mask on it. Make sure your background color is black and then press Ctrl or Command backspace to fill the black color inside the mask. It will temporarily hide all the effect. Now take the brush tool or press B. Make sure white color is selected and paint over the portion where you want the effect. This is a technique where we don't need to work on the second part. We can just copy the mask on the second layer. While holding Alt, select the mask and drop it on the top layer. It will hide the effect from the body and only apply it on the mask part. Next, we will open the image of leaf. Take the lasso tool and create a selection of these leaves. Then press Ctrl or Command C to copy the selection part. Switch to the main file, zoom in, select the hollow layer and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the selection. Take the move tool, rotate it and place it inside the face. While holding Alt Shift, let's scale the image from the corner. Place it slightly top. I think we need a copy of this layer. So while holding Alt, drag the leaves below to create a copy. Adjust them accordingly. While holding Ctrl, select the duplicate leaf layer and scale it. Our task is to fill the hollow part with the leaf. Select both layers, right click and merge them. Rename this layer as leaves. Select the face extended layer and place it on the top. We need to remove the extra leaves that covering the face. So while holding Ctrl, click on hollow layer window to create a selection and add a layer mask to it. But we need to show the leaves that is connecting to the face. So take the brush tool, choose the color white and paint over the portion where you want to show the leaf. Because the leaf is coming out from the face, there should be shadows. So create a selection of the hollow layer again. Select the leaf layer and create a new layer right above it. Rename it as shadows. Take the brush tool, choose the color black, zoom out, right click, increase the brush size, set the hardness 0 or you can use left or right bracket key to increase or decrease the size of brush and paint over it lightly. Press Ctrl D to deselect. To add more depth to the leaf, press Ctrl J to create a duplicate layer of the leaf and set its blend mode to overlay. Now take the move tool zoom out to see the result more clearly. I think we should set its opacity to 80%. Right now the extended face part should cast shadow on the leaf as well. So select the face extended layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer, open the blending options, uncheck bevel and emboss effect and tick on drop shadow, manually set the shadow distance, set the opacity 100% for now. Set the size 150 pixel. I think the opacity should be 50%. Hit OK. Make the fill 0% so it will hide the image only we will have the shadow. The shadow is cast all around but we only want it to affect the leaf part. So we will clip this layer with the leaf. Drag this layer above the leaf layer. While holding Ctrl select both layers of leaf and press Ctrl or Command J to create a group. Now while holding Alt, click in between the group and the layer. The shadow will only affect the leaf group. By hiding and hiding you can see the result. To make the image more blended with the environment, select the background gradient and create a duplicate layer. Drag this layer all the way to the top and set its blend mode to soft light. Make its opacity 50%. To highlight the image more, select the bottom solid layer and create a new layer right above it. Take the brush tool, choose the color white, zoom in and press tab to get a full view of the image. Increase the brush size with right bracket key and start painting over lightly on the background. It will add a dramatic look to our image. I think the leaf is looking too dark so we will change its blend mode. Select the leaf top layer and change its blend mode from overlay to color dodge. This is looking much brighter and realistic. This is how we created this effect. If you learned something hit the subscribe button. Tell me your views in the comment section how was the tutorial. My name is Shubham. I thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.